Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld, and now we have some hostile wood elves uh, that have come to attack. So it looks like there are eight of them. They're going to prepare for a little while. Let's take a look at this wood elf xenotype. So this is the custom one that I made to replace the one that usually comes with the uh, elf mod. They were just like pretty light, and we have a bunch of extra genes added. So I was like, let's take advantage of those. So these guys are evasive. Uh, so melee fighting them is probably something that we want to avoid. Fragile healing. Fast shooter. Are any of them actually ranged? No, they aren't. So that's, that's kind of nice for us. Um, weak melee damage. Okay. Uh, attractive. Evasive. Youthful. Low fertility. Low sleep. Okay. Um, well, there's eight of them. There are nine of us plus our tenant, but we will, we will keep Thane Randall, um, out of combat for now. We'll come back when these guys are, um, ready to attack us. I think a couple things that I want to kind of like take care of next now that like we have some basic buildings, um, that we'll do for a while is I want to get our temple. And I figure, like, this Temple of the Forest up here, uh, let's get that built. Uh, Octavia's doing her best to get it all mined out. And then um, I want to get some defenses. And so I think first we'll start with this wall up here. Uh, and I say first. It's a big construction project going across the whole map. Uh, that way raiders will kind of, like, filter in this way. And we might do some embrasures or something up here. I'm thinking these won't actually be invisible walls we've been collecting a lot of uh, granite mm. so maybe we do granite walls do we want to do these castle walls um let's take a look at some of these different castle wall options so this is regular castle wall this is uh, another type of castle wall what are these from so this one is from Medieval Walls. This one is from Medieval Overhaul. And then if we just do like a granite wall, so HP on that, 510. This one is 765, and this one is 1700. Okay, so this one is a lot more HP uh, for, I think it's five more bricks. So this one's 10 and this one's 15. How much work? 83, 83, and 16. Okay, same amount of work, just more materials for that wall. And there's also an embrasure there. Um, so I think we do something. Let's take a look at this. Let's get rid of maybe the internal pillars here and here. And we'll do pillars on the outside, decoratively, I guess. Um, so if we do that, structure, do something like this. And then maybe we need to rethink some of these pillars, because don't want them in the way of our shooting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I might adjust the pillars to be the opposite of where they are right now. Let's just forbid these for now, and we'll revisit that when we aren't waiting for our raid to pop up on us. Okay, these guys are coming at us. Uh, where are they? They are right down there. Oh, okay, there's a couple that we didn't catch. You guys are also just wood elves. You are... You're like the ranged crew. The only person that brought a ranged weapon is leading the charge. Um, let's do... We haven't done this. Oh, wait. Where is it? We have this ability. Holy him. Let's do that. Okay. And so, holy him. 24 hours. Hear the song of my people. Holy him. Archery plus three. Melee hit chance plus three. Okay, that's awesome. We need to remember to be using that. The other thing that we can do is charm. Um, is anyone exceptional? They're all really good at archery. Hot acclimated. 
Steady Hands. Ocean Lover Jogger. Uh, Jogger is nice. Intellectual Archery. Lyrian might be a candidate for us to try and charm. Uh, okay, let's bring them in. Arwen, let's get you somewhere where we can get you to, like, charm Lyrian as he's, like, coming in. Oh, you guys. We can rebuild that. That's fine. Okay, just, like, took a hit at it. Okay, instantly down. Health. Torso stab, right eye, permanent gunshot injury. Okay. Um, Arwen. So Charm has a really close range. Let's jump in. Can you... Ooh, why can't you Charm? Can't use Charm. Person is out of range. Let's... Okay. Who else can we Charm? You're close. just want to see it work okay let's get in close charm this guy okay and then go ahead and get back into position so charmed him and he's decided to fight for us that's great okay they're trying to steal what they can and leave we have our gold and silver sitting out uh, you guys, go ahead and let's get in here. Uh, you're stealing some wood. That's not a big deal. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, they are all fleeing. Okay. Not uh, not a not a bad one. None of us got hurt. Orders. Let's go ahead and unforbid the things. Uh, dead. Uh, ooh. Calveris, I didn't, uh, Kyveris, I didn't know you had a first name, uh, how, Halfler, we'll call you Halfler, um, okay, so Isolde is socialite, quick sleeper, fast learner, that's not bad, why don't you go ahead and strip her and capture her, uh, anyone else make it down here, no, you're stealing wood, and then, we had charmed someone. Did they fall? Uh, it wasn't Lyrian. Okay. Not sure where our charmed person went. Uh, the range on charm is not super great. Uh, I think next time we'll try Alara's Siren Song, which has a chance to charm people. And charming people gets them to uh, potentially stop fighting with us, maybe attack their folks, and maybe even attempt to, to join us. So uh, our caravan folks are a couple days out, and we'll see them when they get back. Ooh, the other thing that I wanted to do, I, I was like, Luke, did Luke die? No, he's just cloud watching, um, is I was trying to figure out, I was like, how do I get these guys to like merge into bigger things uh which frees them from the anima tree and we it's three you need to have three of them selected so let's take a look at that um it's supposed to bring the three of them together and they will like gobrick awakening pod okay so uh, that's his little pod i guess uh, it just looks like a little dog with like a shadow behind him. Wait, do we still have raiders coming at us? No, we have those guys fleeing with some animal wood. Okay, that's, that's not a big deal. And you... You look super cool. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. So how long is that going to take? 24 hours. Okay, do we have wood makers? We don't have enough wood makers to do the same thing. Uh, we'll experiment with one of these. We'll see what pops out of there, and hopefully it will make us lots and lots of wool. Okay, we have our first awakened dryad. So this guy is no longer tied to the tree, uh, so we should be getting more dryads that we can spawn up here. Uh, he will make Anna Brick without having to be sheared, so he'll just like drop it, and I guess he produces a lot more than than the little guys. 
and I think potentially he will wander around the base doing a little bit of light cleaning. Uh, so that's fine. That's exciting. Um, depending on how much cleaning he does, we might take a few people off of it because I think we have like three people whose number one priority is cleaning right now. Uh, we are building some dirt paths down here. So we've cleared out a bunch of trees. We're going to have to replant all those. And then we're going to need to dig up all this dirt so we can recover it. Um, you know, the reason that we're trying to recover all this dirt is we can fill in all this like stone and whatnot and just like continue to grow the forest. So any mining that we do, we'll use all this soil to kind of just like fill that all in uh, and keep our forest uh, ever growing, basically. And then we will build these guys. Uh, we'll start with just the bottom wall and then we'll do our pillars as decoration when we can get to it Uh who is it? Someone? No, Fabi is our primary constructor. I think Drusilla is also helping with construction, so maybe we won't send Drew out on the next caravan. We'll keep her around, and we will send Dina, since she is um, going to be uh, pretty good at combat as well. Well, melee. She needs some training with the bow, but, you know, Thela handled that, that dragon pretty well, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, Randall threw a tantrum, became unhappy, and uh, we're cleaning up after it. He has decided to leave, <laughs> so uh, I don't know how much silver we got out of him or how long he actually stayed, but uh, goodbye, Thane Randall. I hope, uh, I wish you well on your journeys. Oh my gosh, this guy is so huge, and he looks so happy. Uh, this is our uh, unshackled, oh my god, how do I, where are you? It's the neck. Um, it's our awakened woodmaker dryad, so, uh, we have some more coming in, but, uh, wow. <laughs> okay, Alara, or Octavia is in childbirth, and Alara is on her way to go rescue her. Uh, Halflar is waiting for them to arrive in bed. Uh, okay, this is their bed. Uh, Hopefully, oh my gosh, it's there. It just happened. Okay. Um, okay, we have little baby Augustus. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that name. Your father is uh, Kay Varys. Uh, your lady, uh, Cecilia. Yeah, let's call you that. Um, okay, and you're going to have magenta eyes. You're going to have your mother's ears. Uh, instead of your father's, you can pass your father's ears down. Uh, you are slate gray color. So that is like kind of a stony color, but it's also the color of, that you inherited from your father. Um, strong melee damage. So that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. If you like look at the portrait up here, you can see the magenta eyes. Um, ooh, who is that would be, I think that's from your mom. Uh, but it's suppressed by the white eyes she has, right? From, oh, wait, no, you are not a primordial. You are just a regular mountain nymph. Okay. Awesome. Our first baby, uh, about a year and a half in. Okay, we've arrived at our next monster encounter. It looks like he's right there. So we got three ranged and two melee. Let's go ahead and have you guys set to search and destroy. What is going on here? Oh, uh, you guys. Oh, I think I thought the this is not a bear. It's a lox. OK, uh, kitties are hungry, I guess. So they are grabbing that guy. Oh, and we already have some like friendly fire going on. Let's let's get in there. Oh, you are out. You can do your petrifying gaze, right? Maybe if we move you back. Where's Luke? Luke, go ahead and get in here. The cats can take care of themselves. What is going on with you? Oh, some acid burns. Uh, can you tend to kith? 
Oh, he's just gonna keep wandering until those acid burns stop. Okay. Let's see if we can do the petrifying gaze now. Uh, I don't know what that did. I don't see an effect here. Petrifying gaze. Often, breaking the spell while encased is almost impossible, even though... Okay. Simple petrification spell. Hmm. It seemed like it failed. <laughs> oh, Luke. Uh, okay, just bruises and some toxic buildup. You are not getting any toxic buildup. Oh. Kip, how you doing? Okay, you are fine. Uh, critical or party... Okay, yes. Yes, we understand. We, we, we know. There's nowhere to rescue him. <laughs> okay. Okay, we finished a couple of those quests. Let's get these guys off the put them back home. I think we're going to call it there, and um, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, let me see, uh, uh, like... Can we, can we, can you just, just like tend, tend to Luke? That doesn't seem to be helping. Ooh, the dragon got back up. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.